Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining series hybrids. Now if you haven't already watched my video on hybrids, you should definitely check that out first. So I'll put the link in the description. So a series hybrid is a hybrid powered car which basically just uses motors in order to power uh, the driving wheels. So here I've got a diagram drawn out a little more detailed than I went over in my hybrid video. So basically what we've got going on is we've got a fuel tank and that fuel tank sends gasoline to the engine. The engine uses that uh, gasoline to power itself and power a generator. And that generator then sends a charge to a charger and the charger charges your battery pack. So the battery pack then takes that energy uh, created from the engine, sends it to the controllers which control the voltage uh, sent to the motors and then you send the power to the motors and the motors rotate your wheels. So that's a pretty simple system, uh, that's the basics of how it works, uh, and I of course will have videos uh, linked in the description of all these different components, uh, the ones that I do have videos of. So that's the basic, um, and then of course when you're regenerating uh, energy through regenerative braking, then your motors will send that power back to, con the, to the controllers, and then from the controller to the battery pack and charge a battery pack. So. Why would you use a series hybrid versus a parallel hybrid? Uh, one example um, of a series hybrid uh, is a uh, Fisker Karma. I don't know if you guys know about that car or not, but basically um, it uses a system kind of similar to this, where it has an engine powering a couple motors. So versus parallel, what are the benefits of a series hybrid? Well, the engine is not coupled to the wheels. And the great thing about this is uh, engines have smaller ranges of where they operate in the most efficient manner. So if you don't have your engine coupled to your wheels, it doesn't have to operate through a large rev range. So you can keep those revs at the most efficient point and use that efficient point to charge your battery pack. Um, also, it's a pretty simple drivetrain. Uh, in my next video on parallel hybrids, you'll see that the transmission is kind of a complicated thing uh, because you're linking the motors and an engine. Uh, motors are more efficient than internal combustion engines. And so because this is using just motors to power it, um, and an efficient engine to charge, uh, it, can, it can be a little bit more efficient. Um, and also, another huge benefit is this can run as purely EV. So you could shut the engine off, eliminate that system, and just have what we've got here in the middle, the battery pack, controllers, and motors, and you could still power this vehicle without that engine. Once your battery got too low, you could turn your engine back on and keep on going. So, what are some things uh, that it, that it uh, disadvantages against parallel? Well, all the power must come from the motors uh, at the wheels. So you don't have that option of using the internal combustion engine for more power when you need it. Another thing, uh, the energy conversions mean an efficiency loss. So the engine has a certain efficiency. The generator has a certain efficiency. The charger has a certain efficiency. The controllers have a certain efficiency. The motors have a certain efficiency. So every time you transfer this energy, you're losing more and more of it. So finally, when it gets to the wheels, you know how much is really left. Um, and it actually does a very good job. So it's not a bad thing, but parallel, you can directly have the engine go to the, the wheels or a closer relationship, and you may have less losses. OK. Uh, energy conversion, and then also just all of these components, uh, they can be pretty heavy, so that's one more negative, is a series hybrid could be fairly heavy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below.